save our planet, global warming could lead to ocean circulation shutdown. A new study by U.S. scientists at the University of Massachusetts Amherst found that the amount of fresh water cycling through the Arctic is increasing due to global warming. This has raised the concern that the large volumes of ice melt from Greenland and other sources could dilute the normally salty Arctic waters to the point that the circulation of the North Atlantic, also known as the thermohaline circulation, could be slowed or even halted with disastrous consequences for the global climate. Explaining this immense potential tipping point in a telephone interview with Supreme Master Television was Professor Anders Lieberman from Potsdam University, a senior researcher at the Potsdam Institute of Climate Impact Research in Germany and the lead author of the Sea Level Change chapter for the coming fifth report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC. If you put an additional fresh water into the North Atlantic by melting Greenland or by having more discharge from Siberian rivers, then you can fresh the North Atlantic so strongly that there won't be any sinking of water anymore and that would dis disrupt this thermal end circulation and could make it stop. Because there's so much heat transport associated with this thermal end circulation, it's going to disturb the entire climate system. The thermohaline circulation acts as the conveyor belt bringing heat from the lower to higher parts of the northern hemisphere. A collapse of this vital system could decrease North Atlantic temperatures by up to 8 degrees Celsius, severely affecting agriculture in Europe. Sea level rise and disrupted ecosystems and rainfall patterns are the other consequences that could hugely impact human life. The estimates are such that this kind of sea level rise that we would get from a collapse of the thermal end circulation would be 10 times, 20 times quicker than what we see at the moment. The sea level would more or less instantaneously rise in the North Atlantic by up to a meter. Then you disrupt the heat uptake of the ocean, which would further increase global warming. Then the rain belt in the tropics would shift by a few hundred kilometers. If you look, look where, the, where people live in West Africa and also in the Amazon region, then this is where, where the rain is, and that would change enough to, dis to, to disturb these communities. We thank Professor Lieberman and Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research colleagues, as well as the University of Massachusetts Amherst scientists, for alerting us to this potential catastrophe of the ocean as it affects the ecosphere. May we act swiftly to avert such disastrously large-scale changes and protect lives. During a September 2009 video conference in Peru, as on many previous occasions, Supreme Master Ching Hai urged for direct action that effectively addresses such complex climate problems at their root. We are not ready for the changes that are coming. We are not ready at all. We are not prepared enough. Some of the changes are even anticipated to be unexpected because there are many complicated interacting factors. The wisest action would be to fix the situation we have now and prevent further damage. Then we won't even have to worry about the future. The smartest way would be to stop the worsening of global warming by being vegan. It sounds very simple, but it is the best solution, the most effective, and the effect of it will be felt almost immediately. So please, before the situation gets any more out of hand, let's choose the vegan diet.